Hi, this is Olivier Blanchard with Futurum, and I'm here with Deso System 3D Experience Forum. And my guest today is Haran Tarakia with HCL. Welcome. Thank you. Thank so you. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do with HCL. So I, I manage a, a vertical sector within my company, which is called industrial manufacturing, yep. which spans everything from energy, utility, to off-highway kind of companies, as well as uh, companies which operate into building systems. So it's yep. a very wide area that I manage. Plus, I also do the uh, digital manufacturing, which is across all these verticals. So yep. that's like a uh, cross-industry uh, portfolio that I carry here. Okay, so you help companies uh, among your, your many duties and, and, uh, and somewhere across your bandwidth, you help companies with digital transformation. That's right. right? Um, so, and it's, it's a very challenging kind of, you know, really big endeavor to take, uh, as, as important as it may be. What, what kinds of, of challenges do you run into out there? What kinds of challenges do you help companies overcome uh, when it comes to their own digital transformation journeys? So, uh, what we are seeing in the market today is that, uh, in, that enterprises are more and more, you know, thinking about how can they be more relevant yep. in this new market trends, uh, especially the B2B market wants to follow the same kind of success that B2C market has, right? right? So, that adoption of new technologies uh, which are transforming the world today into a B2B segment, uh, that's a new challenge that they face and uh, that's where we help them. Uh, so how, how can they be relevant in the 21st century and how can they actually lead the transformation, not just be a part of uh, you know, the transformation led by their competition in the marketplace. Right. So these are the two challenges I see them going through. So what we are helping them with is uh, um, launching this kind of three initiatives, uh, which we say uh, initiative which is called um, innovation where actually they design experiences for their end customers in a much better way, okay. which includes things like green products, uh, initiatives like uh, sustainability, electrification of their products, um, as well as doing innovation on the shop floor where they can enable new solutions with technologies like virtual reality, analytics, etc. The second thread they are doing uh, what we call as uh, uh, digitalization, uh, which is both from the internal uh, process point of view as well as the external process with the, mm -hmm. with the market. Uh, and in both cases, we are seeing that they have to follow some kind of a change management, you know, as well as implement host of different technologies to arrive at a common trade. So we try to design a fit for enterprise kind of a suite uh, for them, which works for all functions of enterprise. That's, uh, that's how we can help them with the digitalization initiative. And, uh, the third thing which is very important is what we call operational optimization. Yep. Um, the, I mean, the, the whole uh, catch we are seeing is that everybody wants to go for digital, but they don't necessarily have uh, the amount of funds needed to mm -hmm. go after that. So we believe that digital threads can also be used to optimize the enterprise first and, and design uh, some kind of a fit for enterprise structure take some funds out from that and use it for digital journey. You know? right. So we help them to optimize the operations as well. So these are the three initiatives of how we can, uh, you know, we help them launch and uh, implement it very efficiently yeah. through the market. Yeah. All right, so we, we're talking a lot about um, operational efficiency. And when, when we do research um, into digital transformation or, or any new technology adoption, what we find is that that's always at the top of the list of pretty much every survey and every bit of research that we do. It's, it's always right there. More so than delivering uh, better, more efficient experiences for mm -hmm. their end users, whether it's B2B or B2C, it's, it's pretty consistent. Um, are you finding that there's, there's a little bit of a, uh, a conundrum between, or operational conundrum with companies ending up focusing so much on digital transformation that they lose focus of the end product and focus maybe too much of their bandwidth on uh, on internal processes and right. operational efficiency to the uh, at the expense of what they're actually trying to deliver on the back end. Right. So that's a that's a tricky balance which yeah. one has to keep. I think the best way to um, keep this balance is to look at the business outcome yep. of whatever initiative you are trying to launch, and don't forget the end customer insight. So. We always say that look at the three value chains, uh, the asset value chain, the user value chain, and the, um, uh, the experience value chain. So if you look at these three value chains and design 
your initiative around that, then automatically you will have a tricky balance of right. how much you should optimize, how much you should invest. That's yeah. excellent. Yeah. All right, so uh, how do you help your clients uh, monetize the platform uh, as best as they can? I think uh, uh, there are a number of use cases that we bring into table because we come from the engineering you know, side of the business uh, and our, our, uh, our uh, core competence is to design uh, IP in a way that you can monetize it much faster. Gotcha. Um, and we actually say that the new meaning of TTM, which I'm sure you would call me time to market, mm -hmm. but we believe it's time to monetize. I like that. And so everything that we are doing is acceleration into how do you monetize your IP. And we have defined different use cases on the, the manufacturing uh, software side, on the product side, and on the services side. So how does an enterprise move from a product-centric enterprise to a products manufacturing and services life cycle centric uh, exactly, yeah. and, and that's how we help them monetize uh, their core value in a much better way. Yeah. Cool, awesome. Okay, so um, we're almost out of time. So if, if people want to find out more about HCL and what you guys do, uh, where should they go to find information? I mean, we are a, we are a global company, you know, yep. it's one and a half billion dollars. Google you. And, and <laughs> you are there, we are there everywhere almost in 32 countries. Mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, more, more so, we are also pleasant locally in every market in North America till Japan, uh, also in Europe. And uh, typically, we are operating in the um, in the different markets directly, you know, as HCL provided services. But we also work a lot through ecosystem of partners. Right. As you've seen now, we are today in the Razo Forum, and our belief is sort of 3D experience platform can can do, uh, you know, this kind of internal and external digital trade. Uh, and handle the customers in a very way. So I think we are operating directly as well as through through partners that, like dozen systems in the market. Yeah? So Excellent. very easy for us to you know serve our customers uh, through different uh, channels. Yeah? Good. All right. Well, we're out of time. So thank you very much. Thank you. And that's it for us. <laughs>